Jen, do you want to tell the folks about our new um, YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, yeah. What's Let me it? tell you about this channel. What's it called? Mm -hmm. It's called Living the High Life. <laughs> and Angela is going to try every pot gummy in the country. <laughs> Description. Well, you have to even tell me what the time is. Uh huh. Hey, dudes. So, uh, Johnny Pow is here. And, um, we've picked a really pretty crap day to go motorcycle riding. But, that's what we're gonna do. I got my new moto tote. Well, it's not new, but it's the first time I've used it on Johnny Powell's truck. He's got the fire pit happening. I've got my third favorite motorcycle, the uh, Winnebago Trend RV. And we're taking that up to um, Del Rio. And uh, Del Rio is, uh, I did, I think it was called the Martha Scramble. And I went up there and there was uh, something that I called the Road from Hell. And um, right around there I got lost. And there were like all these little trails um, zipping everywhere. Uh, and it looked interesting. So we're gonna go back up there and just hooligan. We're not gonna have much of a pack. I'm just gonna have tubes and tools. Um, so we're gonna go light. It's been raining like a mo all night, so it is gonna be muddy. And it was muddy last time I was up that way too, and it was hell. So um, this could be interesting. And then tonight is gonna be interesting because we're staying at, uh, some viewer recommended this place, the Barbosa, Barbarossa, Barbarossa, whatever. And uh, anyway, it's a bar slash probably restaurant slash RV park slash tent sites slash little cottages slash little weird motel and uh, there's a Metallica cover band playing tonight and so we're gonna rock it out and um, hang out at a Harley bar with our trail 125 so that should be fun and uh, all right I'm gonna get Johnny Pow up I think and we'll hit the road oh and uh, my wife and I have decided to um, start another YouTube channel called The Exit Strategy or Our Exit Strategy or something like that. And it's gonna be about us figuring out how to get the hell out of our life. Uh, not that our life is bad, it's good. But we're sick of working. We're sick of uh, the just the day to day. We need, we're, uh, I th one thing I've, I've noticed about Gen X that's uh, kind of different about our generation is um, I think we're a little more angsty than most generations. And Jen and I have this angst going on where we just need to, uh, we need to change it up. So uh, we want to start traveling. Um, but of course the issue for anyone else who's in the same spot is money. Um, how, how do we do it? So that's what the channel is going to be about if we ever actually do it. Um, but I think we're gonna, so it'll, it'll have, uh, videos of our travels, um, our RV stuff and, uh, whatever else. All right, I'm getting pow up. Power you up. Word. You want coffee? Cup of joe? Yes, I'll have a cup of joe. All right, dudes. Uh, let me catch you up on what's been going down. <laughs> okay, so after the uh, desert ride, haven't done a lot of riding since then. Not just like day stuff. Um, I have not bought a V85 
although I sure would like to, but I don't have room and it's not the right bike for my like sort of overall thing. I couldn't sell the Himalayan because uh, that bike's just not light enough. So that's where I am on that. Um, since then, I went on a business trip. This is a business vehicle, this RV. Um, I use it to go film Pilates workshops that we put on our website. Um, and we sell those. And uh, so I drove to Los Angeles and then did 14 shoots up the coast all the way to Bend, Oregon. And then I came home from there. And uh, I definitely could have been a long haul trucker for sure. I can do 12 hours a day, 800, 900 miles, no problem. But it's it was brutal. I lived in this thing for three and a half weeks and uh, I don't know, it wasn't bad. It's like a nice, comfortable little tiny hotel room. And uh, I've done these trips before where I flew with all the gear and rented a car. And uh, that sucks because I have to take all the gear up to the motel every night um, because I, I can't, I couldn't leave it in the rental car. So this is way better. I just park wherever, sleep, and uh, everything's with me at all times. So it was good. It was a good trip. I saw some cool stuff. Um, one of the regrets I have from the tat is not that we didn't go see Crater Lake. So I, I decided I was going to go see it. And then all of a sudden there was like 10 feet of snow, so um, I couldn't make it. I had to turn around. And um, yeah, so John and I had have had this plan for a while. We just wanted to go up to uh, Del Rio and, um, and just go full hooligan, like very, very little packs, um, no camping gear, all that kind of thing. We just wanted uh, the bikes as bare as they could be so that we could hooligan around. And so that's what we're gonna do. The weather, oh, that's John, hold on. Hello? Hey man, uh, I'm at Walmart. Did you pack firewood by chance? Uh, yeah, I got one bundle. Okay, if I see one, I might get one. We'll go with you. All right. Bye-bye. Word, bye. Um, so he forgot reindeer, so he's going to Walmart. Uh, the forecast is not good. Although, it's looking pretty good out there. Well, down there, not so much. Up there, kind of good. So I'm just hoping it clears up and that we can ride. It's gonna be, it poured all night last night, so it's gonna be muddy as hell, um, which is not gonna be fun, but it should be funny. So anyway, I'm on the way to Del Rio, Barbarossa, the Barbarossa Saloon is where we're uh, basing out of. And so uh, I guess I'll see you there soon. Barbarossa. Yeah. Harley dudes. All right, we made it to uh, made it to Del Rio. Got set up at Barbarossa Saloon. That place is gonna be awesome. You can sort of already tell. And uh, we're headed off to who knows where. And it's freezing, freezing. And boy, is it weird being on this bike. Let me tell you what.
I just want to, I just want to check it. Oh my God. Nope. You know, it's doing that thing again where it won't roll. You know what I mean? Like it won't, uh, it won't roll backwards. Oh shit. Gracias. Wait, did you have something strapped to that? To your oh, okay. Gotcha. I think I already said this, but this ride was just, uh, after the Martha, I got kind of got lost for a little while and, uh, and just thought it was co a cool area where I was getting lost. And I had kind of wished I could take all these, uh, these little offshoots that went everywhere. Just this network of, of seemed like network of trails. And so, um, I just used Gaia to like sort of scope it out and Google maps. Just look at the uh, topography on the satellites and and just scribble down a ton of roads. So, I mean, you can see on the Garmin, it's just like a mess of roads with no, uh, no route, no plan, just sort of exploring. And so this road we're on now, it dead ends but uh, you know, it looked cool on the satellite, so we're just checking it out. And it is cool. It's getting a little rough. I'm really surprised that the mud isn't worse than it is. Knocking on wood, but uh, but it's not too bad. And this feels pretty remote, dudes. And I'm trying to remember, I don't think, I don't think me and Pal have done anything on the uh, Hondas. 
together since the tap. Is that true? That might be true. Together again. And I wasn't supposed to do the East Coast BDRs on it either. But the Royal Enfield shat the bed, so I was glad to take it. It was fun. But I was just telling Pow, I, I really do want to do a long trip on the Royal Enfield. Now the battery's dead. Which is another issue they have. There's some sort of parasitic draw. So. Oh, Jesus. This is pretty good, dude. This is pretty good. I'm no Sam, but but damn. Oh, look how evil it looks over there. Oh shit. Oh, hell. And as you know, I'm not usually a fan of dead ends. I hate the out and back, but but this is cool. And being on a no pack down bike, nice and light, fairly nimble. Yes. Yes. It's an adventure ride until you see some compact car. I can't believe they're going up this. Pretty bold. What are they driving? I mean, this is pretty rough, man. This is exactly what these bikes are built for. Just exactly. This is shady as fuck.
so now the screen's black. Oh, but it's still recording. The screen just goes black. Yeah. Uh. And I'll push it. And it's off. Okay. I see what's happening. I did. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. I don't think I'm going up there. No, it's too shady. I hope I can get back down. This may have been a mistake. Ashley is good. But it's cool from up there, though. I'm not into the dead ends, but sometimes it's kind of cool. You know? That was a pretty fun ride. Yeah, that road is good. You don't go anywhere, but... So that's the... Is that the river? Hall Top Lookout. This says like 40s out that way. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a, some kind of like re reservoir. <coughs> I don't see 40. Like a, um... Like an industrial reservoir. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> cool. Did that muddy road go anywhere?
power went down. This might connect, but oh no. You're headed down the road, right? I, I went down that mud puddle a little bit. Nah. It looks cool though, but there'll be other cool stuff. Yeah, I think so. Whoa. that all looked familiar but I was like no way what no way Well, we just, we just passed a place that I totally know. Which is a bummer. The, um, that, that dirt gravel road we were on looked so familiar, but, uh, but I was like, you can't. I can't have been here before, but I was. Damn it. I might have to move. Because I'm running out of places that I don't know around here. You know what I'm saying? Alright, Johnny Powell's looking for some barbecue place that he knows. I guess this is it. That's cool. Hey, please like this video if you liked this video. And if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and the alert bell. Also, if you're interested, there are links to gear lists and goofy t-shirts in the description. Thanks a ton for watching.